number 20 1 Samuel 15 3 listen now to the message from the Lord now go attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them do not spare them put to death men and women children and infants cattle and sheep camels and donkeys do you think God will order the killing of women and children do you think God will order the killing of infants infants even donkeys why donkeys are these the words of God or the words of a terrorist number 21 number 31 14 to 18 Moses was angry with the officers of the army the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds who returned from the battle have you allowed all women to live he asked them now kill all the boys and kill every woman who had slept with a man but save for yourselves every girl who has never slept with a man do you believe that God ordered Moses to kill the women and the boys and to leave the virgin girls for the men to enjoy them This is exactly what happened in World War II by Soviet occupation troops in Germany. Hundreds of thousands and possibly as many as two million girls were raped by troops. Do you believe that supposedly Jesus is the God of Moses and Jesus commanded him to kill women and rape virgins? Are these the words of God or the words of a terrorist? Number 22. Leviticus 25 44. Your male and female slaves are to come from nations around you. From them you may buy slaves. 1 Peter 2 18. Slaves, submit yourselves to your masters. Titus 2 9. Teach slaves to be subject to their masters in everything. Exodus 21 20 to 21. Everyone who beats their male or female slave with a rod must be punished if the slave dies as a direct result. But they are not to be punished if the slave recovers after a day or two, since the slave is their property. Do you think that God permits enslaving people from surrounding nations and beating them up with a rod, but while making sure they don't die in the process? So you can beat up your slave until he or she has internal bleeding and broken bones, but as long as he or she stay alive for a day or two, it's okay, since they are your property? Don't worry God, I will make sure they don't die on the same day as me beating them. They will struggle from internal bleeding and broken bones without dying on the same day. And that's okay, I think, because they are my property. Do you still believe these are words of God?